Hello guys, welcome back to another update video. So today it is Wednesday, July 31st, 2024. And this time I'm actually filming this a lot earlier than I intentionally thought I would ever have been filming it. I mean, the last few were filmed pretty late, so this is a nice change. Let's obviously start off by, of course, going to my channel as usual. And of course, checking this up gap. Last time we had 1,211 subscribers. Now we have 1,218. So we earned seven new subscribers in seven days. Still good. We'll see where we are on August 7th. Oh, and I'll most likely change this banner by the next update video just to clarify. I only did it just because I had to do something. Anyway, we have back your videos for Back Your Games 2024 Day 3, Swimming. A look back at the old Backyard Final Days Part 2, and then Part 1 of the same video. I didn't expect these two to be over an hour and a half long for both. Well, almost an hour and a half long for Part 1. I wasn't expecting that, to be quite honest. Lego Master 627's creations for the Sand Village Part 3 for the Plaza. It all oh, okay, I did not expect it to get that many views. I expected it probably like 20 or something. You see, these videos don't get as many views, so this is kind of a surprise. Maybe you guys are having more interest in the series, and if so, that's awesome. And I'm just guessing. Club Penguin Journey for the Disability Pride Code and the Horseshoe Pit. Back your videos for Back Your Games 2024 Day 2, Basketball. Legos Island Summer 2024, Items 56, 57, 58, and Arctic Summer Mission 6. Sunny Vlog 348. Backyard videos again for Backyard Games 2024 Day 1 Dodgeball. Backyard videos again for just the Backyard Games 2024. Then a look back at the Florida vacation, which I also was not expecting it to be two hours. I expected it to only be like hour and a half. I was surely proven wrong. Zoe's Lab 2 for the Christmas in July party. Legos Island Summer 2024 items 53, 54, and 55, and Arctic Summer Mission 5. Back your views for it's finally happening. Club Penguin Journey for the music jamming code and more igloo music. And lastly, the update video from almost a week ago. And you don't have to worry about me logging into Club Penguin Journey because I'm already here. We're uh, just getting the rooftop uh, quest done since the party's literally ending in like two days. So I'm taking advantage of this now. I have all the quests complete and Rose Crystal just completed all the quests earlier. So uh, she's good. She just has to get all the concert backgrounds except like she has like all but like she only has like one out of all four. So... Wait, when is the next one? Okay, she doesn't have this one. I'm talking about Rose Crystal. Uh, that's in like 33 minutes. Okay. I'm just up here helping people with the rooftop quest. Because again, the party's ending in like two days. So. <clears throat> hey, we have to. Hey, I already completed the quest within like a day of the party releasing. Which is actually kind of impressive. Because of how many people you need to complete some of these. Well, I think we're done here, so down we go. Or actually, where the heck is everybody? I'm assuming the iceberg again, am I right? Freaking call it. Although actually, like I said, it's, wait, sorry, wrong thing. It is only technically 33 minutes until this concert, so it's starting to get packed up. But to be quite honest, since the party is about to come to a close, not these rooms are not packed up as much as they used to be at the beginning of the party. Like, when I went to the jazz concert earlier with Rose Crystal, um, the room was not as crowded as um, it was on like the first few days of the party when it comes to certain concerts. And this room over here was jam-packed earlier. Like, holy frick. So, yeah, I'm just showing you what I know. Anyway, let's finally start talking about stuff again. Okay, so, well, of course, that's obviously the point of update videos. We have to talk about, well, whatever comes next. 
And speaking of which, uh, first off, we are just a few hours away from August, so we get to record light uh, countdowns later. That's one thing. Um, <clears throat> the, um, let's see, let's see. Uh, oh. oh, it's not, okay. To prove a point. Indeed. Regardless, let's start talking about stuff. So, again, we got Lightning Account of only a few hours from now as of recording this. Then, we got to finally wrap up Arctic Summer. It's going to be very, very fun. And I'm referring to August 1st, where we wrap up Arctic Summer for Legos Island Summer 2024. We're going to finally defeat Evil Cluck, get him the frick out of the island, and most importantly, change the island back to normal. Boy, that's going to be satisfying. And I do have some really good news about that. It turns out I know exactly what Mission 7 is thanks to Cool Cat 33. It's going to be extremely fun and extremely interesting to see what plays out. In fact, I'll just show you a sneak peek of this. Heading in here, you'll notice that um, I purposely said that he would handle Mission 7. And he said, Evil Cluck, you're gonna have to fight polar bears and zombie piglins in powdered snow. And it's actually legitimate because it actually makes a lot of sense. And specifically, there is one thing that is clarified here. Items are going to be sent by him to help me out with the battle, which is going to be very cool as it's actually been a very long time since we've last seen him send items for an event in general in terms of Legos Island Summer 2020. Sorry, Legos Island Summer in general, it's been over two years since Legos Island Summer 2022 in terms of the last event that I remember him doing that. To be honest, I think it's actually been since that event actually, if I recall. I'm going to be completely proven wrong later. Regardless, let's continue. For Zola's Up 2, all we're really going to be doing is showcasing the rest of the Christmas and July items. Because there's actually no updates for Zola's Up 2 outside of the party being removed um, on August 1st. Like, literally outside of that. There is literally no other update. So what we're going to do for the episode is showcase the rest of the items. Which, by the way, I am proud to announce that they are all custom by me. I'm not joking. I'm not, like, messing around. And you know what I mean in the episode. It's going to be very, 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 very fun. Also, let's talk about that look back video. You see, we just did a two-part look-back video for July 30th. You see, I don't know what I'm going to do after that because I legitimately, I can't think of anything. I'm trying to see, do I have to make up any other look-back videos from years ago? Because I think what I just did for July 30th slash 31st, I think it was the last look-back video I still had to make up. Because I still got a few planned for out later in the year at more appropriate times. Like I got some rewritten ones planned, but those are meant to be done at more appropriate times based off of what they're about. Like there's certain topics that I feel it's only better if I do it at the more appropriate time that they are based off of. Like um, I got one coming in October for the eclipses and then like December for like actually don't remember um i do got a few planned but um oh wait, wait i got one in august actually for rewritten actually it's gonna be um and actually this won't take place until the end of the month so why am i saying it now but i'll tell you there is gonna be one at the end of the month of august that is gonna be rewritten related ironically on the exact same day of this party's release seven years later 
with that being said, that all just said at the end of August, since I just realized I shouldn't have actually said that until then. That would of course be the tw August 28th update video, which would be just two days shy of that. Um, but as for the look back video, we just did like the giant back home videos, the fortification, and now the backyard final days. What am I supposed to do now? I just got like all those ideas that I had in mind for so long um, done within just the span of a week. That's impressive. And the fact that like I thought I was never going to be that active with the series, but here we are now. Oh, hey, somebody said that. Regardless. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what the frick I'm going to do. Actually, you know what? Maybe I can leave it up to you guys. Do you guys have any ideas for a look back video for Friday, August 2nd? Guys, I just did all the ideas that I had planned within the past month in the span of a week. So what you just saw in the span of a week, uh, which was, of course, driving back home videos, Florida vacation, and back your final days, those were all my ideas for July. And um, I just did them all now in the span of like a week. Which is actually, um, that's crazy that I was able to get all those done. So let's talk about Saturday stories next because I have an announcement to make. There is going to finally be one on Saturday, August 3rd. And I have an official confirmed thing for you. You see, I'm going to finally talk about why a certain series did not come back at the beginning of this month in the month of July because you may have heard me hint this series returning in a vlog all the way back on the first day of July. Specifically, I'll be talking about why Hide and Seek did not return in 2024's New York trip when it was clearly hinted that it was going to happen. I will explain why that happened, why that didn't happen on Saturday, August 3rd, which fun fact will ironically be five years since Hide and Seek 2019 happened. That could not have happened at just a better timing. So that's why I'm saving it then. And I got a few other look back videos, sorry, uh, Saturday stories that I want to do that I was supposed to do in July that I couldn't get around to because I completely forgot about them. I apologize. I will do them throughout August. Thank God there's five Saturdays in August so I can get those all out. Um, so that's going to be extremely, extremely cool. With all of that being said, after Arctic Summer's over, I want to confirm that there will be water slides coming to the event starting on August 4th for LEGO's Island Summer 2024. By the way, I should also mention, in the August 1st episode, there will be another daylight cycle change. Which means we are not going to be seeing evening anymore. It's... You want to take a guess what comes after evening? Because that's a little sneak peek for the episode. Not only are we defeating Evil Clock, and not only will the Arctic Summer thing reverse, but the time of day also changes too. And we get another Daylight Cycle banner in the process. So that's going to be very fun. Um, but yeah, starting August 4th, there's going to be water slides, as I previously stated in Summer Announcements 2024. So please do look out for that. It's going to be very fun. And I hope you guys are excited. That's going to be on Sunday, August 4th, which will be a few days before the next update video. In fact, there will be a Lego on Summer episode the day of the next update video. So we will already have two water slots showcased by then. So I do need to ha announce this here. With all of that being said, how many more minutes do we have until this? 22 minutes. Interesting. I got to get Rose Crystal on here to do that because I need to have her get all the other backgrounds and, of course... Uh, she can't, you know, do that, you know, without all the VIP access stuff. Like, uh, she has to still, like, get all of these items over here because, uh, she only has the jazz items. She did manage to finish all the quests, which is pretty cool. Um, I helped her out earlier to help finish all the quests because, again, the party's ending in two days, so I had to do that alongside a ton of other people. Um, so, yeah, anyway. I'm going to wrap it up here. I think I have gone long enough. If you guys have any suggestions for the look back video on August 2nd, please comment down below. 
And yeah. Oh, one more thing before I end the video. I forgot to <laughs> mention this. Back your videos. Um, the back your games is still going on. So we still got two more games, which is soccer and running. And then we got the closing on August 5th. And then the event's gone like immediately after that. Um, and then after that, uh, there's not going to be an event for a few weeks until the anniversary of Backyard Videos because we would have just had a huge Backyard game. So let's take a few weeks off, like 20 days off. I thought I just mentioned that. So I'm not going to lie. The Backyard Games has been going very well so far. And it seems like you guys are really liking it. And I um, do uh, want to thank you guys for that. That's the last thing I wanted to tell you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next update video on Wednesday, August 7th. So, with all that being said, I'll see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!